Hello everybody, my name is Zool, and welcome to my guide on how to install mods for Oblivion using Mod Organizer. Welcome to episode 10 of the Oblivion for Mod Organizer tutorial series. Today we are going to go ahead and do something that has nothing to do with Mod Organizer. Today we're installing ENB. If you don't know what ENB is, it's a graphics mod. Uh, it's a mod that improves the visuals overall by adding in new things like lighting, ambient occlusion, and all sorts of really cool shaders. It comes at a pretty hefty performance cost, so unless you have a beast of a computer and you don't mind playing at lower frame rates in some areas, I wouldn't recommend it. But if you are interested in getting ENB installed, then uh, here is some instructions to do so. Uh, by the way, thank you very much to everybody who commented and liked on the last nine episodes of this series. Uh, please continue doing that. Uh, I was planning on stopping the series at episode nine, but it did so well, I thought, let's keep going. So if this video does good, I'm going to continue on with some other cool stuff. Maybe I'll even get to uh, FCOM at some point in the future. Anyways, on to the installation. Before we begin with the installation, we need to do a quick fix for some people, because this may cause crashes if you don't do it. We're going to install an older version of DirectX 11, link in the description. Head over to the link in the description and you're going to go ahead and click the download link for DirectX 2012. Uncheck everything here on the left hand side, this is kind of like a scammy sort of thing Microsoft does where they download their software here. You don't want any of this software, just go ahead get the stuff on the right, click no thank you and download. It'll bring you to this page, uh, click save if it prompts you like that, and it'll down an executable file. Once that happens, just double click on the executable file and install it, keeping the location at its default because you need the files to go where they belong. Before we begin, we need to take a quick look at the options menu. We need to make sure that anti-aliasing is off and that HDR is checked off, as you can see here on my screen right now. Other than that though, we can move on to the next step, which which is downloading the ENB, so go over to the link in the description. I am installing a tweaked ENB as I may have mentioned before, however there are different ENBs you can go ahead and use. One thing of note is the preset you will require might be different based on which ENB you're looking for, so just keep that in mind. Once these files have been downloaded, extract them to a folder on your desktop, open up the wrapper version of the ENB series for Oblivion. And we're gonna go ahead and grab one file from here. That's gonna be the D3D9DLL. We're gonna take that and we're gonna drag it into our Oblivion folder. This is not the data folder, this is the Oblivion folder. This is where the executable is. After that, we're gonna grab everything here other than these optional folders, of course, and drag them in there as well because these are essentially the customizations for the EMB. This one also comes with optional effects. I'm not going to use any of those, but if you'd like to use them, you are free to go ahead and do so. Once you're in the game, you'll notice the visual difference immediately. You'll also receive a prompt telling you a pair of keys, usually shift and enter, that you can use to modify some of the settings. One setting that I highly recommend is disabling ambient occlusion, since it seems to cause the most frame impact without really giving much of a visual difference. Uh, you're gonna probably have to tweak things on your own to get things in a nice balance you like, but that's pretty much all there is to it. Alrighty, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Once again, please leave me some feedback. It really does motivate me to continue making those videos. If you need help uh, and you're having issues and problems, don't hesitate to leave a comment. However, if you need more help or you just want to chat with me, hang out, maybe play some games, join my Discord server. If you don't know what Discord is, I'll leave a comment down below uh, somewhere, something like that. But basically, it's a gaming chat app. I have a public server. You can drop by, talk to me, and I will help you out if you're having issues with your mods, time, you know, permitting and stuff like that. Anyway, thanks very much for watching. That's pretty much enough for this video. I've been Zul, and I hope that you have an excellent day. Yeah.